hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today i just want to talk about something that is uh that i find myself going back to every time i start a new project and that is uh, how to add custom fonts to tailwind projects uh in this case i'm talking mostly about uh fonts that are not available uh, on google fonts you know uh, sometimes you receive uh, projects where the fonts that are required to build that project are not available on Google Fonts and what do you do? Then you have to uh, find the font online, download it, install it on your system and then uh, use it in the project. And I tried to look for resources when I was uh, trying to figure it out the first time and I really didn't find as much. Uh, so I've decided to make this uh, tutorial kind of like just to show you uh, how to do that. Uh, but just to be verbose and um, accommodate every use cases, I will also be showing you how to add uh, custom fonts like Google fonts into your Tailwind uh, applications as well. So let's get started. Uh, here is a running uh, Tailwind uh, application that I have. Oh, I'm not running it at the moment. So let's do Netlify Dev. Um, so it's uh, it's felt kit application actually. Uh, but what I've done is gone ahead and added Tailwind uh, to the project so that we don't, uh, you know, spend our time uh, adding Tailwind to the project. It's just like one minute and you can get it done yourself. Um, if you need, uh, if you need, I think I've kind of like made a, a tutorial before on how to add Tailwind to projects. But if you need that information, it's available here uh, on Tailwind documentation right so if you follow the instructions uh you they have a uh, a frameworks guides where you they show you how to add tailwind to your different uh, projects uh that's that so that's what i've done i've gone ahead and added tailwind to my svelte kit application and now what i want to show you is how to add a custom font uh into your tailwind application so let's uh first of all let's let's do the the google fonts one right uh say for instance i go to fonts.google.com I should uh, uh, this is you know what let me just pick uh, an obvious one so that we'll know when our fonts has changed uh, I would think choosing fonts are always very hard for me you all oh I have poppins already you know what let me just use poppins um, so I'll copy this and back in my project, I will put it in app.html. I uh, will find the head tag and add the link that we just copied from Google Fonts. And let's put it here and say, uh, okay, so this is it. If I save this, ideally, um, this uh, Poppins font should be available in my in my project, right? But then I'm not using it yet. So to use it, uh, the way I recommend you do this is to come down to uh, your Tailwind configuration file and extend. Uh, click on the extends object and do font family like that. And then you want to give the font a name because what's going to happen under the hood is when you define the font here, Tailwind is going to generate a custom utility uh, font class for that font that you're putting in. So let's say that I want to call mine pop as opposed to poppins or whatever it is so you can give it any custom name of your choice so let's say it's pop um and let's do poppins here because that is the actual name of the of the font right so if i save this uh now tailwind recognizes that i've added a custom font but i'm not using it yet in my project so i'll come back to uh, index.svelte and at the moment this is uh let me get rid of this at the moment this is tailwind custom font i have not done anything to this so let me add the font class the pop font class to this header just so that we see whether it works so i'll find my h1 and add a class of let me add it at the end font pop because that's the one i just added okay see it shows up so this is what i was talking about so Tailwind will automatically create a, a font pop utility class for you so that you can add and use the font wherever you want in your application, which is super cool. So I'll, I'll do that and save. And if we did it all right, we should see that the font has changed indeed. And now this is, it's using a Poppins font now. Uh, fantastic. Uh, so if we wanted to do the same, because it's a utility class, 
you can add the font anywhere else so like i can come here and do font pop as well and my paragraph should now also be using the poppins font fantastic uh but that is not precisely all i wanted to show you i want to show you uh more importantly how to add a font that you downloaded uh from from somewhere on the internet basically a font that you basically can't find on on google fonts and something like that that i've come across recently is a font called adelia i used it in one of my projects i think it's called uh pet can date something like this uh i'm not sure let me do pet scan dot date the project a phone project i worked on recently okay yeah this is it so this is the adelia font that i talked about so i'm going to try and find it online now and, and just go to adelia font download i guess uh da font let's use the font hopefully we find it there i'm going to put adelia here search for it okay so i'll download this font it's downloaded so i'm going to open the file uh so the next thing i want to do is come back to my project and create uh a font folder in my source route uh because i want to kind of like keep it organized there you can call this folder anything you want i just want to actually let me put it in the static file because that's where it will ordinarily be uh so i'll make a a font folder here and reveal it in finder so that i can copy this into here right so now i have the font available in my project if i come to fonts i should see adelia.ttf that's good uh so what do i want to do next i want to go into my app.css file and use font face to bring this font into the actual project so let's do font face the family is adelia because that's the font we're using and now we want to use a part that to specify where our font is currently available at so it's right here uh so i'll save this and once again we'll do exactly what we did before when we were using the google font come back to your tailwind configuration file uh give it a custom utility class name so in this case let me say adelia because why not what am i doing no that's not what i want so i'll do adelia and it's not sans serif it's cursive i think i just i can't type today you all. so i'll save this and then let's eventually use the font right so i'll come and remove uh where's my header i'll remove font pop from the header and put in font adelia save that and let's see if it works so come back to the browser and there you go we have the adelia font that is locally uh installed on our on our computer uh fantastic um uh, this is all i wanted to show you to be honest uh just just uh something that i found very useful and not a lot of resources out there talking about how to do these uh, little things that i figured uh might be useful to a lot of people so uh if this helped you and you'd like more contents that are very direct and short like this let me know in the comments and i'll be sure to make more of this for you uh thank you and see you next time